The missile used before AMRAAM depended on the fighter plane's radar to guide it to its target. Well, that meant that pilot had to fire the missile and continue flying towards the threat. What makes AMRAAM so different is it has its own built-in radar, so the pilot can fire AMRAAM, peel off to safety, or take on a new target. The missile does its job so reliably, 36 friendly countries carry it too. Air Force Colonel Brian Henson says that's a tribute to the Raytheon workers who help AMRAAM fly. When you sleep at night, know that those parents of those warfighters, they're sleeping well at night because you are giving them the tools to not only execute, to come back and do it again. Or not execute because no one else will come up and dare even try to touch us. Raytheon's AMRAAM program director says about 500 engineers work to upgrade the missile's hardware and software, while other technicians work to assemble a missile pilots can count on. We want to know that uh, when that thing's uploaded on some young fighter pilot's jet, that when he gets into combat, he's going to win. Now Raytheon's planning to 